Hi everybody, this is Kevin from Texas Yardman and more. Wanted to do a video on uh, this ammo spam can that, cam, uh, uh, that I picked up from Academy Outdoor and Sports. I live here in Central Texas and uh, as of late it's been real hard to find ammunition for my AR-15 and the other day I was at the store and I noticed they had uh, the spam can um, in stock. Uh, that's just kind of a nickname that they give these ammo cans. It's uh, a can that holds 520 cartridges and mine is uh, chambered in 7.62 by 39. It's a uh, steel round um, with 123 grains and it's full metal jacket. Uh, this is what my AR-15 is chambered in so um, I picked this box up uh, it's labeled Monarch uh, which is from my understanding is the Academy brand uh, that it goes under but it's actually a cartridge that's manufactured in Russia uh, by Barnall cartridge in there in Altzai Cry Russia and um, this round uh, has been real hard for me to find so I decided to buy it in bulk and um, I picked up this box so uh, I decided to do a video to show everybody what the spam can looks like uh, it's it's sealed inside of a metal canister that kinda resembles a spam can and that's why they call it that so I'll go ahead and open this box and we'll take a look and see what it is So it just uh, comes in its packaging and since we're here in Texas it looks like they put a sticker on it that says uh, one of the most famous sayings that you'll hear in this state is come take it and that goes back to Gonzales, Texas uh, and you can research it online but um, that's a picture of a cannon from the 1800s and uh, that was a famous slogan that uh, was was said is uh, come take it come and take it so uh, that slogan has been adopted you can go online and read about it but uh, I thought that's pretty cool that they put that on the can here so here's the canister and you can see it's just a metal container very similar to like a spam can you find in the grocery store uh, it's got a label on here 7.62 by 39 steel case 123 grain full metal jacket 520 cartridges uh, so these are manufactured in Russia for Academy Outdoor and Sports here in America so the can is also labeled here it's painted and we'll spin it around and you can see that it comes with a tool just a metal tool that you use to open this canister and uh, this will be my first time opening it but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and attempt to do that right now and we'll see what the contents look like. So I'm assuming it goes something like that. Let's just move it down here. There we go. So you just work it like a metal can opener. So just so you can see, there's the cutter right here, and then here's the notch that you hold it 
you put it in like this in the elevated position and then you work your way around the can and I don't know, it'd be nice if they made an electric one of these <laughs> And you can see right here I've been puncturing the canister and I'll just have to wait, work my way around the can. It's going to take a while. Somebody else out there might have a faster way of doing it. Feel free to drop a comment on this video. Once you punch a few of these holes, you kind of get an idea. The goal is to not try to take too much at one time. So we're almost down one side of the can all the way. and be careful not to hurt yourself. I could see how somebody would end up hurting herself. Uh, you got some rough edges here, so be careful uh, when you're taking this off. Off, I'm telling this to myself as well. way you could probably even wear a, a pair of gloves if you like they have some padding in them because this metal tool can dig into your hands I don't think I would use a rotary tool because um, I know a round has to have like a uh, firing pin hit it, but uh, some sparks off of maybe a grinding wheel or something like that probably wouldn't be a good idea to use on this. So the best way is just to use this tool that they provided. So we're getting to the end now. As you can see, I've made my way around the can. I gotta look, do a little bit here in this corner, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna finish up this other side here. There we go. So I always have a little bit in this corner here. There we go. And you can pry this up. Be careful. I feel some jagged 
steel there. In fact, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have some gloves on. I did not bring any to use for this demonstration. But I got it open. And you just peel the tin back. Then you take this packaging off and let's see what's in here. We got they're wrapped in paper and some of these are marked 30 so I'm assuming third that would mean 30 rounds per package and then get some cardboard in here looks like just spacer cardboard and that's pretty much what you see here is packages of 30. So let's open one of these just to look at what the round looks like. I want to go ahead and open this. And they're just simply wrapped in paper and they're stapled on both sides and it's marked 30. So I'm going to open one of these just to look. And inside of there, there's little spacers. And there is the round. And this part is steel. And then these look to be uh, copper. And I was looking to see if they were hollow points, and they are not. So these are full metal jacket. And you got the firing pin right there, same color as the tip. And, and you have the steel casing here. So this is uh, 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So there's a Russian round right there. So this is my first time opening one of these cans and I wanted to share it with the people on my channel. Uh, if you found this video interesting, uh, please like it, uh, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel, it helps me. And uh, if you'd like to be notified of my next video, please uh, hit the bell in the upper right hand corner and you'll get notified the next with the next video that I put out. Appreciate you watching. Uh, you have a great day.